Hi, everybody. Um, if you've been involved um, with writing or, or you know an author, um, you might have heard the phrase phrases pantser or plotter um, before. If not, what that means is um, a plotter is somebody who outlines their story beforehand and uses things like sticky notes and a storyboard and um, you don't really put a lot of effort and time into uh, figuring out their plot and, and where things are going to happen and um, they just kind of it's it's very um, structured I guess is is the right word there um, and a pantser is kind of the opposite of that um, uh, and I guess I guess I've heard that that um, came about um, like from the phrase you know, flying by the seat of your pants, kind of winging it, um, I suppose. And so often when I do interviews, I'm asked if I am a plotter or a pantser, which is, I don't know, it always sounds hysterical to me, but um, I am a pantser um, for sure. I am not an outliner uh, in any way, shape, or form. When I was in high school, I would write essays um, and then after the essay I would write my outline and I um I did that in co college as well I just I don't work um real well with that kind of organization um a lot of people do a lot of people flourish that way and more power to them um you know we all have different brains that work different ways um, I I generally know what is going to happen in a story um and when I am writing a book uh, it, it, it generally follows just about what I expect it's going to. And I, I um, am very much the type of person that thinks in, in pictures very vividly. Um, and so like when I am in kind of in the heat of writing a novel, I definitely see and hear um, the story it, it, like a um, like watching a movie in my head and I'm sort of transcribing it. So um, not everybody's brain works that way. Um, I've talked to a lot of writers that don't have that kind of experience, but for me, that's that's how it seems to work. Um, I, I think, I think that um, it is, it is harmful when we, Kind of pigeonhole people into one category or the other and then decide which one is you know a real writer or um a better writer and that that is just silly um everybody has different brains that work different ways and if you are getting the story out um and it is following a plot and your characters are you know driving that along then you um, are doing it the right way. You are the good kind of writer. You are writing. Um, so when we see things that say like plotter versus pantser, um, I don't always think that's cool. Sometimes it's in fun. Sometimes it's not. I may not outline with the storyboard and um, sticky notes and all that sort of thing, calendars and I, I just kind of hold the story in my head and it's just kind of there um, when I have to go to work or I have to step away. It's just kind of like pushing a pause button on a movie and it just kind of holds itself there until I can come back to it. I, I don't know how to do it another way. Um, and I'm currently, what? eight, eight, nine novels, um, into this writing career gig. Um, so it seems to be going okay for me personally. I know other writers who, who don't get a picture in their head at all. Um, and don't hear, hear their characters or, or anything like that. And, and I think that's really interesting too. I think it's really, there, there's a lot of value in just, listening to other writers' experiences 
um, and all of the different different ways we get to this um, kind of same conclusion, which is the finished novel, it's actually really cool. I I don't really like to compare the the different ways that we we get to that. Um, I think it's far more valuable to celebrate the differences and understand the different unique ways um, that we are are learning our craft and practicing this craft. Certainly, um, as far as creativity goes, I, I wouldn't want to pigeonhole um, any type of artist into having to do things one way or another or saying that one way is better or more real um, than the other, that's just not cool. So um, think about, that's something to think about, I guess. I would, he- I would kind of hesitate to, um, I always kind of hesitate, I guess, when I am asked that question in interviews. Um, because people tend to think that the uh, pantser typewriter is not serious about their craft. And I, um, I would beg to differ on that front. I, I am getting more serious about writing as, as the days and years go by. Um, it's very close to my heart. It's something that I really enjoy doing. Something I hope I'm getting better at as time goes on and I learn more and practice more. And I don't think that my lack of, of, of rigid organizational skills um, means I am not a real writer or a good writer. Um, I think I must have some knack for it. People are buying my books and reading them and talking to me about them. So I would say um, that we should maybe be cautious about how, how we use those words when we're tossing them around um, or or devaluing one or the other type of writer. Um, so that's just kind of something to think about. Um, do you write? If, if so, are you a plotter or a pantser? Um, I'd love to hear your stories about that, um, comments or what you think. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You guys are cool. Rock on.